Here are all the things I quit doing to simplify my life leading up to 40 years old. And things I quit doing at 60 years old and now I'm 67 so I have a list also. First on my list is in the last year or so I have really quit getting upset if my home does not always look picture perfect. Mm -hmm. When I first decluttered and became more minimal, I was under the impression that my home should always look perfect, yeah. clean, tidy, and there's a lot of people that live here, and my mom's here a lot, and that's it's just not tidy all the yeah. time, and I'm okay with that. I've accepted it, and I've quit worrying about it. At age 58, I decided to quit coloring my hair. It was always colored a medium brown, which could have meant red or dark, who knows what I was gonna get out of the bottle. So I went gray. Um, Emmett was just born, mm -hmm. and I said, that's it, I'm a grandma. I don't have to color my hair anymore, and I love it. I it would, looks beautiful. I would never go back. Mm -hmm. It's just easier, mm -hmm. and it's healthier, and it's thicker, and yeah, I love it. And people stop you and comment oh, yeah. on how you got that silver color, yeah, which what, is crazy, yeah. it's natural. I know, they go, what color are you using? I said, just whatever comes out, natural. And then along with the hair, I quit going to the hairdressers. Mm -hmm. um, I would get them colored once in a while and cut, so I just cut my own hair. And sometimes she'll have me trim it Yeah. in, in the back, but mm -hmm. it always looks really nice yeah. and healthy. I just figured it out. <laughs> and plus I have curly hair, so wavy hair. Yeah. And then I don't blow dry it. I did blow dry it today because it was wild. Um, but but rare, I, usually just, yeah, I just usually wash my hair, you know, have conditioner on it, and mm -hmm. that's it. Wonderful. And go crazy. Put a clip up and so. And I'm going with her pattern and way of teaching and I'm letting, my hair is completely natural and it has been for probably five years yeah. or six years, maybe longer, yeah. the natural color. But I do see some grays popping in and I'm accepting it. Yes. I'm letting them go. Good. Don't wear makeup every day. I put on a little bit. I, when I do wear it, it's very little, um, but I don't wear it every day. Most days I'll just put on lotion and little bit of blush, lipstick, and that's it, I'm done. I don't hardly ever wear eye makeup because it's just too much, too much work to take it off and you know. It's a good way to simplify it, yeah. especially if you don't yeah. need it, you're not going yeah. anywhere. I find when you get older, 67, just don't look in the mirror so often and, and you'll be really happy. You still think you're 18 and then you look in the mirror and you go, woo. Yeah, that's the other thing, I stopped caring. I could care less about what anybody thinks about me anymore. That's the good thing about getting older. Yeah. I noticed that everyone I know <laughs> who's slightly older than me and up has told me that exactly. Yeah. As you get older, yeah. you care less and less, Yeah. which is on my list as well. Oh, okay. It's just not caring <laughs> as much about what people think yeah. about me or if I'm not trendy or whatever it is. I just, yeah. I do what I like and that's that. Yeah. And with age, you grow less hair on your body. <laughs> I never shave my legs. I have about three hairs on my legs now and I never shave my legs. <laughs> I'm not going to go there yet, but maybe when I'm 60, I will embrace that lifestyle. But it's for now, funny. no. I'm just, it is funny. But the Hopefully you, you can get a laugh out of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's lighthearted. So. I recently quit feeling like I'm responsible for everyone that lives in this house. So if there's picky eaters or making certain appointments for my husband, I have decided to just let all that go and not get upset by it and know that my kids are who they are and if they want to be a picky eater then that's fine. It's nothing to do with me as a person and I've also let my husband start doing more of those type of things where he can make his own appointments yeah. for himself yeah. and I can step back from all that and not just feel like I'm responsible for every single person. Yeah, it's a lot. And yeah, it is. It's a lot to take on and it simplified my life a lot to just step yeah. back a little bit. Yeah. I did that with dad too. Mm -hmm. I, he does a, he does everything for himself now. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it's a big relief not having to carry your weight and someone yeah. else's weight when it comes to business. And it's surprising when you step back how people step up. In the last year or two years, I took all the addictive apps off my phone. And addictive for me, one is Instagram. Mm -hmm. The things where you just can continue scrolling and not paying attention. Actually, Facebook is one of those as well. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can get in that trap of just scrolling, scrolling. I took all of those off my phone and if I want to look at them, I just go on my computer. Yeah. And I find with going on my computer, I'm less likely to get in that trap of wasting time. 
I just go on, look at whatever I want to look at real quick, and then I'm off. Because I don't want to be sitting at my computer for yeah. a really long time. But your phone is with you all the time. Yeah. So that's one thing I have when, been doing. One way I stopped doing Instagram and Facebook is I just got rid of all my friends and I only have a couple <laughs> people. So I look at it, there's nothing to see. You don't follow anyone in other words. I don't follow anybody. Yeah. And, I, and I've unfriended mostly people, unless they're close family, I just don't do it anymore. I have no idea what anybody's doing. I could care less about what someone had for lunch. So that, yeah. that's what I've done. Only my close, closest friends do I follow. I quit having unrealistic expectations of what I could actually get done in the day. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes we can watch these videos or, or go online and see people get a ton of stuff done in one day. Yeah. And it was just unrealistic for my life to put that pressure on myself to get everything done. And by taking that off of my mind and just saying, you know, who cares if I can't get it all done? There's always yeah. the next day to get whatever it is done and just have a more realistic expectation for myself. Through the years, I've slowly quit thinking that I'm on some kind of timeline that's put on us by society. We were just discussing this oh, yeah. of back when, before I got married, all my friends were married before me and all my friends had kids before me. <laughs> I felt this pressure, I don't know what it is. I think a lot of people talk about this. Yeah. It's a society, a clock. yeah, a clock ticking, and it's a pressure that you need to have certain things done by a certain timeline, and that timeline is just completely made up. Yeah. It's not real, and by taking that off of my mind, I just simplify my life. I just do things in my own time, Yeah. and what works for me, and I've noticed that things tend to come to me when I'm ready for them. Yeah. So oh, I, I try to have that more organic thought process yeah, that's about good. it. Pretty much at my age, I do whatever I want. <laughs> if I don't like my surroundings or if people are getting crazy or something, I just go, adios, and I take off and do whatever I want. So, um, and I used to go shopping for fun and um, entertainment purposes, uh, and I don't do that anymore. I only shop when I need to shop. Mm -hmm. um, get what I need. Sometimes, a lot of times I order online. So hanging out at the malls and all that, I just don't do that anymore. Once in a while we will peruse the estate sales yeah, or the thrift stores, but we don't buy stuff very yeah. often. Only when we need something, but it's kind of fun to look yeah. at that stuff, but yeah. we're not shopping at the malls like you said and yeah. buying all these things that we don't need right. anymore. And I quit cooking every <laughs> night. In fact, I hardly ever cook, but I'm, there's always food in the refrigerator and I just figure at our age now, we just kind of eat when we're hungry and eat a snack and there's always healthy food there, but I don't make these big meals anymore. Um, I have something to add to that. When I was in high school, my mom came home one day or I was home, she came in and said, I'm not making dinner anymore. You guys are on your own. That was yeah, the words that you had. And I don't know what caused that to well, pop out, but I know you did stop making dinner every night. I know. She just said, here's a bunch of food. You guys can make whatever you want. And yeah. you made a meal once in a while. Yeah, right. If I felt like, cause I like cooking once in a while, but it was like I'd make a pot of stew or something. Well, I don't eat that and mm -hmm. I don't eat that and I don't eat that. But so you're um, less likely to cook because yeah. of that feeling. Yeah, it just goes to waste. I would love to tell my family I'm not cooking. I'm not, yeah. Everybody well, you starve. Have, you have little kids. I know. You're, you're, you don't have that choice. But, but I when just, I was a teenager, yeah, you did I that. did. I said, I'm just not making any more of that. It's too picky and too wasteful. and, and I, so I did. I quit cooking. Yeah. I think she cooked maybe once a week. You made a big thing. Yeah. So and now when I come home and I go, I think I'm going to make spaghetti for dinner. Would you like some? Oh yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I quit watching the news. So when the whole pandemic happened, I got sucked back into watching the news because I wanted oh, yeah. to know what was happening. And I just realized I didn't want to keep watching the news from the TV news. I still go on uh, the computer and I read news stories. I know what's happening each day and each week. I'm up to date, but I no longer sit and watch an mm. hour of whatever the news channel has decided to put on air that night. I just quit doing it and it saves me so much time. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. just, that is such a good way to simplify because then I'm not getting upset by all these things that yeah. are sensationalized. Yes and blown out of proportion. So I still know what's happening, but I don't watch the news yeah. anymore. I quit balancing my checkbook too. I used to do the paperwork, you know, the little check stub book, and I stopped doing that because it's all online and I know what's outstanding. And mm -hmm. so that's one, one more thing I don't do. 
Um, I don't do the holidays at my house anymore. It's Shannon's doing yeah. them now. Thanksgiving, Christmas, mm -hmm. the 4th of July and all that. I mean, they have the perfect house for it and it's a lot of fun and it's a lot less stressful for me. I still help out here and do it all. Yeah, with you right but i don't take it i don't do it at my house anymore and it simplifies it because my kids are here they have all their stuff here yeah and it's so comfortable for them that yeah. it just makes it easier for you guys to come here than yeah. all of us to go there and i'm happy to yeah. us work together here yeah. and simplify that for you it's better because yeah. it's funny when i think about it i started doing it when i was young mm -hmm. <laughs> i've done it forever and it's like okay I'm done with that. Let's Pass just, it on. Yeah, with you moving closer, it made it really nice. So yeah. I don't make a big pot of coffee anymore. I just use the Keurig, the little things, and I just make what I want. Carl makes what he wants, and then um, I don't have that big pot that just ends up smelling, mm -hmm. and you have to clean it and all that. So any way I can simplify my life, I'm doing it now. Yeah, and you get the compostable little yes. things, so yes. they are not going into yeah. the landfill, they're yeah. compost. Well, she buys a special it's kind. San Francisco Bay Coffee Company. Yeah, yeah it's, all, it's awesome. I don't go to the car wash every week or two like I used to. Hose my car down every once in a while or just clean the windows, but I'm not a fanatic anymore about my car has to be perfectly clean. I quit going out as often with friends and doing a whole bunch of stuff. I think it's just my time of life right yeah. now. When I was in college, I did a lot more uh, parties and going seeing a lot of different people yeah. and uh, traveling to see people but now I just find that I'm home a lot more I'm doing a lot more with yeah. my family and that has actually simplified my life as yeah. well At, in this moment in my life maybe when my kids are grown up I'll yeah. want to go do more but right now I just simplified that easier. you have to pass on a lot of yeah. invitations people are doing things yeah. and it's just not convenient right to get out and yeah, and I'm an time. introvert, so and I'm really, introvert. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I quit waking up super early thinking that it was going to give me more time in the day. I think there's a lot of um, advice out there that says wake up earlier, wake up at 5 a.m. and you're going to get so much more done. That could maybe apply to someone without kids, but my kids are up by at least 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. every single morning. So there's, there would be very little time I would gain, and I noticed that I'm better off actually tacking that time on to the evening. Yeah. So I've simplified that because there was a time, I've quit trying to do yeah. that. There was a time it's, when I was trying to wake up super and early. And it's not your natural no, rhythm. No, I'm natural, in. my sleeping. natural sleeping is w sleeping in and yeah. staying up a little bit yeah. later. And I think it's really a good idea to go with that. Yeah. Because <laughs> it simplifies yeah. your life. Go right. with what you naturally feel. Yeah. Another thing I stopped doing, well, I stopped wearing jewelry, rings. I have this necklace for our 25th anniversary, which I love, and I wear that all the time. I never take it off. But I quit wearing fashion jewelry, Even bracelets. Even wedding ring? Yeah, my wedding ring. I can't wear it. I can't wear any ring on this finger because it, my, ring, my finger swells up for, mm -hmm. immediately, no matter what it is. And then, so I put it away and it's like, I don't have any desire to wear jewelry. Mm -hmm. I've never been a fancy person, but I would always wear beads and things. And I thought, oh. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm probably I'm by it. I'm probably looking like just a frump. No, but, but that saves you money too. And, and I'm happy not bothering yeah. like, oh, what beads go with this and that. So it just, I don't even miss it at all. I just, I'm very simple. I have quit getting involved in the kid drama. So now when my boys are fighting, I say, you guys go and figure out who wins that fight and deal with it. Yeah. And I just let them go. About five years ago, I quit all diet fads. And maybe you've quit this too, I don't know. But all those new diets that come out, the, I'm not gonna name any of them, you know them. There's a whole bunch. There's yeah. a new one every year, practically. Every five years, there's a new yeah. fad. I pay no attention to those. I eat what I want, yeah. when I want, in moderation, and that is my diet. I yeah. do not follow any fads. <laughs> yeah, and I think at this age too, you just learn to accept yourself. For who you are. Yeah, and your body's only gonna be what it's gonna right. be. And just be healthy. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, my goal is just to focus on doing what I can, 
eating the healthiest diet that I, I can and that's yeah. it. I don't yeah. follow any fads. This is kind of funny, but I quit reacting to things my husband says. <laughs> I no longer react. <laughs> Me it's, too. Yeah, it's the, the more silly things and I might not agree with it or whatever it is, I just say, okay, that's great. And I don't get involved. I just walk away. This goes along the same lines as the last one, which is I quit letting people's opinions affect me. So in real life or online, if I read an opinion that I don't agree with or I don't want to follow, I just say, that's great. That's your opinion. That's not my opinion. And I don't need to get upset by it. Yeah and just let it go yeah. and that has simplified a lot. I don't even let it get in my head where I'm yeah. thinking, oh, I can't believe that person thinks that. It's just, that's fine. Yeah. I can think something differently. Yeah. I quit getting distracted by the next shiny object and this can mean a lot of things and it's not always easy to do, but for instance, if a new app comes out, instead of jumping right on that for my business, I just kind of let it go, focus on what I need to focus on. Same with life, like yeah. we have old vans and I'm okay with that. I have mm -hmm. accepted whatever it is I have for the time being, if it's working, and I try not to get um, just distracted by those shiny new things that come out, because yeah. there's always something new, yeah. and it's easy to just spend all your time, waste your time, yeah. and money and money and energy yeah. just getting distracted by those new things yeah. leave a comment below letting us know all the things you've quit doing thank you for being here with us today we'll see you in the next video bye, bye.